right, welcome to How to Not Cook, featuring various guests. Today we're gonna be not cooking omelets. So you get out your eggs. Get a fork or a whisk, I like a small fork, because it's fun. Not really, it's just, not a lot of people like to use small forks for anything, so, because we have the same amount of small forks and normal sized forks, it's just good to use a small fork. So, standard omelet is two to three eggs. So I'm gonna use two eggs. You should get a little hairline crack just by tapping it kind of firmly on the edge of the counter. Push your thumbs in, that's uh, ugly. And just drain the egg in there. Put that in a place where it's not gonna roll away. Get your other egg. Crack it, put your thumbs in, and let, it, let all the egg come on out. Come on, you stupid egg. Yeah. And now, like a responsible human being, you're gonna put these in the compost, not the trash, the compost. Yeah. And because you've got a little egg on your hands, you're gonna wash your hands if you don't like having egg on your hands. All right. Now the important part. You just gotta make a little oval motion like that. Switch directions a few times. You should get about that consistency. All right, mostly yellow, but with a few clear spots. And then leave that there because you don't want to get a mess all over your counter. Um, now, because we're not making an omelet, there's always stuff in an omelet. I like to put a little bit of garlic in there. Um, I definitely like salt. And I like these herbs. Uh, this includes rosemary, basil, uh, something in thyme. But, yeah, that, that all tastes pretty good. And you want pepper. Because that's going to give it some flavor. Now, if you were in need of a more iron rich, you could put spinach or kale. Those both are fine. Yeah. Or you could put like meat. Very, very many things can go into an omelet. Just make sure they're not enormous. Beat that around a little bit. That's the wrong drawer. Get out your medium sized saucepan. This should be non stick Teflon. And come over here. Get out your butter. And a knife. Uh -huh. Also, make sure that you have a non-abrasive spatula. So this one is not good, but this one is fine. Right? Metal, pretty much. Uh, this is a flimsy plastic spatula, which is really annoying. So don't use things like this that can do this, because it's going to be really hard later. Now, take a bit of butter. That looks like about half as much as I need. There we go. And ignite your stove. I like to keep it on medium low heat while we're cooking the butter. And it should start to melt pretty quickly. Now, the more butter you put in this, the richer your omelet is going to taste. So I like to use a lot of butter. You are also allowed to use any type of real, like, fatty thing. So olive oil, vegetable oil, avocado oil if you're Sebastian and you're weird. Um, and many other things will work for this step. 
Um, you're also allowed to put cheese into this. That, that tastes perfectly fine. Uh, milk also works. It's going to make your omelette a little bit softer. So once that's sufficiently melted, uh, you're going to just pour this in. We'll come back to that in a bit. On a little bit higher heat. Yeah, my pan was a little bit too cold. You want it to kind of sizzle as it comes in. But that's just because we are all impatient human beings who want to get our food. So, uh, yeah. Don't think it will actually matter to the outcome of your cooking. Get out of place so that it's prepared. And you see how the top is becoming mucusy? We're gonna get it to a little bit more of a solid consistency. Uh oh. You want it to be slipping around in your pan. Don't use a spatula normally, but. Yep, there it is. So that mucusy stuff in the middle, that's gonna be the most flavorful part of your omelet. So you wanna preserve that and hopefully not spill it on the plate. So let's turn on the lights so that it's really easy to see. Come here, grab our spatula. Uh, yep, we'll go from this direction. All right, so you fold it over like that and just keep kind of rolling it up. And it's not that hot, so you can use your fingers Give it one final roll. There we go, that looks all nice. And now that it looks all nice, we gotta make it look nicer. So let's come here, grab some chives. You can use a lot of things for garnish. But just a touch of chives works pretty well. And there you have it, your 